up everybody it's Kyrie and I'm back again with another video so today in this video is gonna be a little different but before I get this video started um, Kyrie Smiley I made a new channel Kyrie Smiley is for entertainment purposes you know what I'm saying I'm gonna be on there doing challenges vlogs maybe some pranks uh, reactions you know all the different type of video promotion type videos you know what I'm saying reviews all of that so that's gonna be on my other channel Kyrie smiley is on my under my feature channels under there is uh, on my banner link is actually in my banner you know what I'm saying it's in my bio not bio but um in the description the link gonna be in the description is gonna be everywhere but I just want to thank everybody that's been watching my uh, videos been liking my videos commenting sharing supporting me I appreciate it thank you now let's get into the video so, you know what I'm saying, this video different because um, I pretty much just came on the camera to talk about how I feel a year after, you know, me basically being suicidal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't really uh, plan on making it to 24. I never thought I was going to make it to 24. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I got older... You know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, I learned more about myself or I felt odd about my life or whatever. It just didn't feel right being alive. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't think I was going to make it to 24. You know what I'm saying? And when I turned before, actually before I turned 23, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was already suicidal at 22. You know what I'm saying? So Turning 23, I became more suicidal, and then, you know, uh, you know, I ended up going through a lot of stuff because of that, uh, but, you know, being here today, you know, a year after I thought I would never make it to this age, um, I guess, you know, I guess it feels good to be here, you know, still on earth, uh, it feels a lot different than it did last year because, or in all the other years, because, you know, um, I found a passion, you know what I'm saying? I already knew I wanted to do YouTube and all, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I wanted to do, but I just never could be successful at none of that stuff. Like, it just never worked, never worked out, never, you know, grew or anything like that. It just never worked. Um you know and now that i discovered that i was trans and you know i came out to the world about it um and i'm on youtube on a platform you know helping people you know what i'm saying that feels good you know make me feel like i have a purpose um and you know it gives me it gives me hope and light and you know what i'm saying i'm able to focus on other things that i want to do as well you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm actually doing the things that I've been wanting to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, that that feels good. You know, being able to do... Well, being, being here and able to do what I wanted to do. It just kind of, you know, it, it says, you know, you... No matter what you're going through, you can't give up on be, uh, wanting to be alive or being alive. You just can't, you know what I'm saying? Like... No, I haven't had my surgeries, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not in the place that I want to be in my life yet, but I know that I'm on my way there. Like, I can feel myself on my way there, like, versus how I felt when I was 22. Like, I feel completely different, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, too, I felt completely different about my life. Um... So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Time, time does a lot. Time does a lot. A lot can happen within a month. A lot can happen within a year. You know what I'm saying? A lot happened within a year of my life, you know? Like I actually want to live and, and do things with my life versus last year, or not last year, but 2019, you know, the year before I started T. Um. I, I was ready to take myself out. Like, I mean, I'm not even going to talk about, 
that, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely didn't feel the way I feel right now. And I'm just saying all this to say, you know, you may be in a place right now where you feel like not being on the earth would be a better option for you and other people that's in your life. I'm telling you right now, it's not true. It's not true. I was thinking the same thing. For, I mean, I've been thinking that my entire life that, yeah, that everybody else would be better off without me here. You know what I'm saying? I've been thinking that for my entire life, literally. Um, it's real sad because it's real because it's because it's actually true. Because it's actually true. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like everybody in my life, like, I don't care family, friends, teammates, coaches, teachers. Whatever it was, I just felt that everybody would be better off if I was not on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Um, no exaggeration, no cap at all. Mm. Yeah, I really felt that way. But you know, it, it's just not true. It's just not true. It's just not true. And I know the way you know you could be feeling right now if you are thinking that i know exactly how you feel it's not true you're you're gonna overcome it you're gonna overcome it you just gotta let time do its thing you gotta let god do his thing you know what i'm saying you gotta just let things fall into place when they're supposed to you understand what i'm saying like, you, you can't don't take all the signs that's happening around you and with your life, don't take that. Because, I mean, everything happens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You go through a storm to get to the better side. That's just how it works. It just That's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying all this to say that, you know, if you trans and you feeling suicidal or you feeling like everybody else would be better off without you or you feel like your pain, like you just can't handle the pain that you're going through. Like, I, I understand that, too. Like, it's so much pain. Like, it's a lot of pain to bear. It is a lot of pain to bear. And it doesn't help when your family doesn't understand and they make it harder for you. Like, I understand, man. You know, do what you got to do to keep your mental state at a safe place. Keep yourself safe. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And that means if you got to go stay in your car, do that. You know what I'm saying? If you got to go stay with somebody else, do that. You know what I'm saying? There's all types of stuff that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? You just do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, but do not take yourself out. You're meant to be. If you were here on earth, you're meant to be here. You're supposed to be here. And you have a purpose. You just got to wait on it. You feel me? You just got to wait on it. But, you know, don't forget to leave a like under this video. You know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? If you are subscribed, thank you. Make sure you subscribe to my new channel, Kyrie Smiley. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, link in the description under future channels. On top of my bio, I mean, on top of my banner and in my banner. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere. You feel me? Kyrie Smiley. Kyrie Javen. Share the video. You never know who it might help. Faith, loyalty, and I'm out.